Hi everyone. What I'd like to show you today is a, a new example uh, in EM uh, from Microwave Office. Shows off a couple different features. First of all, uh, we're going to be using Analyst to take a look at a flip chip uh, with a differential pair on a board uh, going up through bond wires onto a mimic and we're going to be studying the insertion and reflection loss for that structure. The structure itself has a couple nice features here and uh, I'm going to show you those now very quickly. Uh, this is it on the left and if we go ahead and look at it, I've actually already meshed it up on the right. Let's go ahead and and expand that out to full screen and maybe zoom in a little bit. And here we go. And you notice we have our two lines. Notice there's holes cut in a ground flood. I actually did that automatically using negative layers. It's very easy to do. Don't have time to go through the details of that, but we do have training material on it if you're interested. Uh, we then go, uh, if I go ahead and zoom in a little bit again, uh, we go onto bond wires through a quad uh, QFN package onto a Mimic. There are two ports on the Mimic and we can look at the uh, differential structure. Now, one of the things I'd like to show you uh, in this project is the library that we're using. Now, the library is basically, um, it's, a, it's a, just a standard board library, Rogers 4350 in this case. But it has a new feature in it. And if we go over here to the left under Elements and look in the Elements browser, notice that under Libraries, you see this Packages? These were actually placed in the custom library itself. The person who created it had the ability to draw and save a quad flat pack package and the actual Mimic. The Mimic itself is a very simple cell, which only has a few pads in it, uh, simple enough that we can very quickly attach the bond wires. What I really like about this concept is that it allows us to keep cells that we're going to use in our EM projects so that you, the user, when you're using a given library, uh, can actually go in and get those cells immediately. So, so stay tuned for in more of our libraries for this sort of feature, custom EM cells uh, placed right in the library. Notice too the cells like the Mimic actually has uh, the various layers for the Mimic. So we have that technology, the gallium arsenide, the metal layers, and of course the gold ground plane, etc. Okay, uh, what are the results? We should take a look at that. Uh, very quickly, this is the uh, reflection loss, the S11 of the differential pair now. I excited it differentially and you can see you get about what you would expect. Of course, the reflection goes up as uh, we go up in frequency. There is a resonance here. We had two cases. This no ground plane model actually takes away a separate grounding bond wire between the two signal bond wires. The idea was you would save space, maybe at the expense of isolation. Notice we have two other uh, lines here. This is the HFSS results. Uh, we ran this exact same structure in HFSS. The results are very similar, especially when you consider the scale of the S11. Here is the 2-1, the same story. Uh, one note, there's a rather interesting resonance up here at about 9.3 gigahertz, uh, which if you were the designer of this, you'd probably want to start studying. I mentioned we ran this in HFSS. I'd like to emphasize, if I bring up the HFSS project, I really didn't need to redraw it. It's exactly the same as the Analyst project. Uh, just to show you that it's real, uh, I'll go ahead and open up HFSS to show you that. I right click on it, open in native editor. And here you go, everyone. Uh, we're in HFSS. Uh, this is their layered editor, their new editor and you can see it came in. Normally, you would never have to go into HFSS. It would all be done automatically. Well, we're about out of time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and of course, come on out to awr.com for future videos. Bye.